I've got friends who say, life is too short for QRP. It's a funny thing to say, and I laugh along with them. But did you know that QRP works almost as well as a normal 100 watt transmission? Well, that can't be true, right? I mean, logically, if you're transmitting that 100 watts, and you turn your power down to 5 watts, the person on the other side of your conversation will only hear you 5% as well as they did before, right? That's logical, but it's absolutely wrong. In fact, going from 100 watts to 5 watts will only reduce your signal on the other side by about 2 S units. Here's what the life is too short for QRP guys don't like to acknowledge or maybe don't understand. It takes four times the power for our signals to be registered as one S unit stronger. So let's talk briefly about some simple math that'll take away the mystery of why QRP works and therefore why life is plenty long enough for QRP. Our radios have an S meter that shows received signal strength. Doubling your transmitted power yields a 3 dB increase, but each additional S unit requires an increase of 6 dB. So it takes four times the transmitted power for the receiving station to show one additional S unit. Now think about what that means for a minute. If I'm transmitting 100 watts and the person I'm talking to receives me at S7 or 7 S units, I'd have to turn up my power to 400 watts in order to be received as S8. To be received as S9, I'd have to multiply my power by 4 again and transmit 1,600 watts. And by the way, 1,500 watts is the legal limit here in the United States. Now when band conditions are good, 100 watts often will get you a true S9 signal report, or maybe even better. So let's work the math backwards for just a minute. If I'm getting a true S9 signal report at 100 watts, I can drop my power to 1 fourth, 25 watts, and my signal will be perceived as S8. I can cut that power by 1 fourth again, now only transmitting about 6 watts, and my signal will be received as S7. To be received as S6, we'll reduce our power again by a factor of 4. So now we're transmitting about 1.5 watts, and we're still being received as S6. Oh, I'm sorry, did I just take away the magic of QRP for you? Okay, now listen carefully and think about this. As long as your signal is above the receiving station's noise floor, your signal will be heard. As long as your signal is above the noise floor for the other station, he'll hear you. And that's why life is plenty long enough for QRP. Okay, now before I go, I have to acknowledge that there is a place in this hobby for amplifiers. People who own amplifiers are not evil. If the station you're trying to communicate with has trouble hearing you, you'll need to increase your power in order to be, have a conversation or be heard. Do I think the hobby would be better off if everyone turned off their amplifiers unless they were actually needed? Yes, I think so, and so does the FCC. But in some circumstances, when the other station has a high noise floor or band conditions are marginal, amplifiers can mean the difference in being heard or not. So by all means, buy an amplifier, but please keep it turned off unless you can't complete the conversation without it. Okay, I'll step down from my soapbox now. Thanks for watching.